Brothers and sisters, bunions and blisters, children of all ages, I am your boy T Squared coming to you live with another mobile home tour extravaganza. Today, we're taking another trip down to Elizabeth City, North Carolina, Clayton Homes, to check out this beauty. This is the Blue Bay floor model. This is a three bedroom, two bathroom, double wide. Now, one fun fact about this house. If you notice here in the clip, you will see that this house does have a pitched roof. And that is for a reason. It was told to me by one of the season reps there at Clayton Homes that this house has an option to either be a stick built modular home or a regular standard double wide mobile home. So a lot of fun in here. Take a stroll with me in this house and we're gonna check out everything that's going on inside. Let's rock. See if we can get a nice gander of this living room here. First impressions. Nice tray ceiling. Got the boob light there. I don't know how I feel about the boob light. Got a nice floor plan here. Let y'all get a little taste of this kitchen area over here real quick. And as a quick, nice surprise, I got my lovely assistant here today. That's my wife, Kay. And for those who don't know her, she has Kay's Closet. So all my fashion forward ladies that want to get fly on a budget, she is a nice stylist that will show you the ropes out on her Instagram. Going to have our link down here at the bottom. Shameless plug. So as I like to do in the living room, I like to see if this living room is lazy man approved. Get me a seat here and get a little lay of the land. Once again, we got our kitchen area over here. Now, the one thing about this floor plan that kind of throws me off, we got this insert here. I'm gonna assume that it probably has options for a fireplace or a gas insert. It's the only thing I can really think about in that space. So we got a little pan up here, but seems kind of useless the way it's in the floor plan right now. It's just a built-in, but I would imagine it probably has a gas insert option too. So let's see where we're gonna start first. We're gonna work our way into this kitchen. Got ourselves a nice monster island here. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an option. We got a nice barn door access here. Dining room area. Nice vinyl sheet flooring. Compliments well with the carpet that they got here. Got a little patch of the little patch of the vinyl there at the door. Keep you from tracking mud in the living room. Get a quick sweep of these built-ins that they got in here. Plenty of built-ins around the fridge. We can see our recessed lighting in the ceiling here. Chrome appliances, chrome hood, chrome stove. They got it all chromed out. And ooh, girl, the backsplash. Got a nice black backsplash here. That's a tongue twister for you. Complement all of the white countertops that they got laid out here. Got a more traditional kind of pools on the hardware. Just know that this stuff's optional. You can probably get your own pools. One thing about this kitchen that kind of confuses me a little bit, I understand that they put a light here to try to get some natural lighting going on, but it just seems forced or awkward. You got it. Because you said light, it was a window. You said what? You said light, it was a window. Oh, okay. Okay. So one thing that kind of confuses me, I know that they got the window here to try to let in natural light, but it just seems forced just tucking this little baby escape door window right here. Um, I know that they had this top heavy cabinet area, so there was more focus on storage, but it just looks like we got to have a window, so let's suck it in right here. Get this island a little bit more love. Kind of has that thick butcher block type look to it. Got the nice deep sink. You can fit a relative down in that thing. Of course, we got our standards here with the pool. Can't live without that nowadays. They got a stage to kind of show off that you can have at least two person seating area here. So if you want to get your quick eat, so if you want to get your kids to go ahead and get this snack on, you can do that. Got our dining room set up over here. 
nice and spacious. Fit a pretty decent sized dining space. We got our natural light with our two windows over here to the left. Also shows that if you got any dogs up in the crib, we can put them to work too. Don't nobody eat free in my house. Even the dogs got to pull their weight. Going in that kitchen, make it happen. Oh, this is the doggy diner as they got it all posed. Got a nice modern pendants right here with the black look, so it kind of all goes with that black and white. Got the nice barn door spread right here, which I believe leads you to your little laundry utility room area. I'm gonna check that out real quick. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of editing on this one. That's all good. Got a little slim injures here. It's not big man friendly up in this camp. I did my little shimmy slide, so here we go. Got our nice sink built in right here in the laundry room area for you. Always handy. They got a circuit panel box back here. Some more to recess lighting. Shout out to the crown molding throughout here too in the house. Pretty sure that that's gonna be an option when you check on all the futures. Back door access right here. Got a nice wire rack here for your laundry area. Got your washer and dryer hookups down here with your NEMA plug. And I would imagine we got our access to your furnace right here, which I believe in the Clayton Homes is the Smart Comfort Carrier models. We can go over here to the fridge where I always get our tail of the tape real quick. So what we have here, in this model we are looking at the Blue Bay. We're looking at three beds, two baths, 1,543 square feet with a home package price of 173,191. Keep in mind that is not delivery prices or anything like that. That's just a regular MSRP. The features that we have in this house, the Ream hybrid heat pump and water heater, the Lux Argon gas low efficient windows, the Carrier Smart Comfort heat pump or gas furnace, Energy Star certified appliances, LED lighting all the way throughout, Echo B smart thermostat, next gen insulation, and these homes are solar panel ready. So this house is part of their Energy Smart Zero. We're starting to see a whole lot more of these in the Clayton Home floor plan. They're being more conscious of sustainable houses that can take on solar power and also energy efficient in all the different areas. Like I mentioned earlier, this house does have a pitched roof. So this home does have an option to be a modular home. So if you want drywall modular home, they do have an option for that here. We got on um, 12 foot, 20 foot custom dormers on top, tray ceilings, the full laundry room, tile kitchen backsplash, ceramic tile walk-in master shower, and a pantry. All right, kids, keep up with me here. We're gonna go back to the other side of the house so we can see those other bedrooms. The way you access those bedrooms is when you first come in through the very front door, this is the view that you have, and you go off to the right to get to that side of the home. So as soon as you walk in, they got this kind of nice tilted angular floor plan here right at the front. So this is what you're greeted with right from the front door. And when you come around this way, got a nice coat closet here. Pretty small, definitely just enough for the basics. Maybe throw about two or three jackets in there and that's all she got. Kind of has that corner angular thing because it's offset with that slanted wall on the other side. So we're on the side with the two bedrooms. So right around the front door, we come into bedroom number one here. Got another boob light here. I thought they said LED lights all the way throughout. 
What's going on, Clayton? Got our one window in here. But this bedroom's pretty small inside, so that one window can probably handle the natural lighting in here. Got our trim in here. All carpeted in this whole side of the house, of course, because this is the bedroom zones. We'll take a look and see what kind of closet space we got in here. See if we can get us out of the darkness here. Let there be light. So you can kind of see the supplies in here, but one good thing about it, it kind of gives you an idea of scale of what can fit in here and what the scale size is of the closet. For this to be a smaller bedroom, they were pretty generous with the closet. We got the L-shaped wire rack here to go on around. Well, actually, it's a U-shape versus the L-shape. So it's actually a lot more space in this closet here than I imagined. And like I said, if you want to get fancier and do away with the old school wire racks, this closet can accommodate different rooms for built-in shelving and all that other fancy stuff that you want to go ahead and get popping off in here. We're gonna shimmy on back out of this bedroom here and see what we got tucked behind this door. So this is the shared bathroom area on this side of the house. Got our vinyl sheet floor in here that continues into the bathroom here. Pretty decent sized bathroom here for the two. Good for some siblings to share here on the back half of the house. Got your standard fiberglass shower tub unit. Let me go in here real quick and get a good idea of the size here. Fairly decent. Brush nickel accent. Got the nice dramatic lighting here up at the top. There's no window in this one, so they're definitely gonna have to hinge on the recess lighting a little bit more in this bathroom, but it still lights it pretty good. Standard mirror, you can always upgrade to your taste for that, if so. Got our square modern sinks. We got our black faucet, modern accent. Oh, we got our first fail here. We're missing, we're missing one arm on the toilet paper holder here. We can't do anything with that uni unit right there. Can't pogo stick the toilet paper. Got to tighten that up clean. Got to tighten that on up. Oh, I'll take it back. There she goes right there. So I know they didn't just leave you stranded out here. We can't be out here with the unicycle on the toilet paper. So good to know we still got our backup plan. We're gonna duck out of here and we're gonna take a look at our next bedroom. Also carpeted. Also with the same lighting. We got our one window for natural lighting. Fairly equal sized closets. So you won't have kids fighting over who's getting the bigger closet. So they kind of split the baby down the middle on this one. Glad we got a attic access in this particular room. Still got our built-in lighting recess here. Well, already seeing a little bit of wear on the door here. I'm a little bit scared of that there. So just to let you know what's real in these streets. We're out here in these models and they take a beating with the opening and closing them and it gives you an idea of how your house is gonna deal with every single day exposure. I know, I know. You guys didn't come here to look at the small bedroom. So let me um get to the steak of the whole meal, if you will. We're gonna get on over here and take a look at this primary bedroom that you've been waiting for. So we're gonna ease on down the road here and see what's behind door number one here. Looks like we got ourselves a pretty decent sized bedroom here. We got a little pan up here. Got some more of the trim, crown molding. And I know this place brags about having the LED lighting, but here we go again with another boob lamp. So I don't know what's going on with that. You would think the LED would be throughout, just like it says here on the actual stats. Um, see if we can get a little love on this barn door here. Nice dramatic entrance there to the bathroom. Definitely liking the details that they got here in the door. Kind of gives it that old school traditional look. Nice double window here, letting in natural light. I'm gonna check out what the closet space looks like in here. 
So from the front, it looks like you got a tiny closet, but as you peer in here, let me flip on the light. Got a pretty decent space that you can kind of semi walk into here. Got the wire racks here, but I'm pretty sure when you get in here, you can find a fancier option to take advantage of all this space that's in here. Definitely not being stingy with the trim in here. They even threw it up in the closet. And we got our lighting here system. So it does a pretty good job of lighting this dark space up. We're gonna be nosing and slip and see what this bathroom situation is looking like. Got the nice barn door accent here for that rustic feel. They got some more of that vinyl sheet flooring here throughout in the bathroom. I'm gonna swing around, take a real good look. That nice double sink action they got. Nice countertops. Nice hardware pulls on the cabinets. Got your makeup counter over here. Nice old shower here. We're gonna get the slow pan up here. Got the little pony wall with the glass wall divide there. Got our window and natural lighting over the top, but they also got recessed lighting above it. Very decent sized soaker tub here. They got some more of that towel accent here. Got some wood-like accents here on the trim on the tub. Kind of gives it that built-in look. And still being generous with the natural lighting here, right above the tub area. Pretty sure this fancy soaker tub is gonna be an option here that you can check on. Nice modern faucet here, off to the side. Drain plug down here. Definitely liking the modern square look. Look at the black faucet here. Kind of gives it a timeless look that'll last for a little bit. And they tucked in our water closet here. Got your own door so you can shut out those demons when you're here in the water closet. <laughs> Sorry. No, you good. I'm leaving that in. Once again, they got to tell you not to float the Scooby Snacks in the model toilet because someone will always try it. Still don't know how I feel about the towel rack right above your head here. Don't know if I need a flag salute me while I'm on the toilet like that, but it is there for easy access. We got our recessed lighting, and of course our must have venting system here. And we got our option of natural light with a small window here in the water closet so you won't feel like you're locked in a dungeon when you're in the throne room. Always a must. So this bathroom has that ledge area for you to step up into it. So you got to have your mind right. You can't just be blindly hopping in this thing. Like I said, everything that you see in here in these models, it's always a different option. So if you're like me, you're not really feeling that wood rustic look in your shower, there's gonna be plenty of other finishes that you can pick out for yourself. Um, one good thing I do like about the showers they have in these models is I try to high step in here. So the one thing I like here is they got the nice sidebar here. So you don't have to play Russian roulette with the cold water when you're trying to hop up in this thing. So you can kind of get in and get out with the wrap around. Always a good choice. All right, kids, that was another mobile home tour in the history books. I'm going to give you one last look at the blueprint here so you can take a look at everything that we just walked through. I'm um, going to keep this up for a little bit right before we swoop you back over to the cave. All right, good folks. I had to bring you back here in the man cave like I always do at the end of these videos. I got to throw my shameless plug out there. I personally am a mobile home investor. I deal with homes here in the Virginia, North Carolina, and Maryland areas. So if you are in search of a used mobile home, or if you're trying to sell a mobile home, please feel free to give me a call so I can try to take care of your needs. Also too, I have my own movement on Facebook as well. I got a Facebook group that's centered around buying and selling mobile homes. And not only can you consult with people like me, you can deal with some of my compadres that are in there trying to sell mobile homes as well. So I will have a link in the comments for the Facebook group. And like I always say, 
You guys could have been anywhere in the World Wide Web, but you're here with me. And I sincerely appreciate that. Check you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.